A court in Argentina has thrown out a complaint against President Cristina Kirchner, ending a cover-up case against her. The late prosecutor Alberto Nisman had been investigating allegations that Kirchner had tried to cover up Iran's involvement in the 1994 bombing of a Jewish center. The court ruled that no crime was committed. Nisman brought the case in January and was then found dead the day before he was set to testify. Daniel Schweimler is in Buenos Aires with more on what this court decision means. So this is the third time that the uh, Alberto Nisman's accusations uh, that the government, that Christina, President Christina Kirchner was trying to cover uh, Iranian involvement in that 1994 bomb attack on the Jewish center in Buenos Aires. A judge and now two courts have said there is no case to answer. Uh, there was no crime involved in this. Although I think this is the, uh, the end of the case legally, it's still not the end of the case politically. The country, Argentina, still very much split down the middle those who believe uh, that uh, Mr. Nisman had a case and those supporters of the government who believe it was all a plot to try to destabilize, to try and besmirch the government's name. Uh, there is a, still a case outstanding, that being uh, how Mr. Nisman died. Uh, he was found dead in his bath with a bullet wound to the head the day before he was due to testify in front of a, a congressional hearing. Uh, some believe, those uh, who support the government, uh, believe that uh, he committed suicide in general. Uh, those who oppose the government believe in general that somehow or other somebody loyal to the government uh, had him killed so that he couldn't uh, continue with that testimony. So uh, this is election year in Argentina. So although one part of this case uh, has now been put to rest legally, politically it's still very much alive. As I say, the country split very much down the middle.